Uh, you'll be sweating a little bit. Uh, Joe Mott, speaking of uh, paddling, is here this morning to tell us more about Paddle for a Purpose. Joe, how you doing? Good. Thanks good, for coming good to in. Be here. So, Talk what here. inspired you to undertake uh, uh, such a, a monumental journey? And give me a little bit of the the backstory here on that journey. Well, I I love new discovery yeah. and adventure. Yeah. And I'm turning 70 this year, so I thought, why not get out there and keep young at heart? How, you know, long, keep how long going. have you paddled for? I haven't done a lot of paddling. Yeah. So I this did is a, fairly new for you. Then. I did a bike ride around the country at 65, okay. 6,500 miles for a purpose yeah. as well. And you said, now we're going to paddle. So tell me a little bit about this. Uh, now this is, you made this yourself. I made the boat, yes. So, I, I so what goes from, into making a, a, a boat like this? I just think a canoe, you know, you got a you know, piece of metal or a wood and you sit in there, but there's, there's a lot more uh, kind of science behind it, right? Yeah, it's a labor of love. Yeah. You start from the tree. And I cut them down, I milled the wood and uh, cure it and is. started, I've got about 800 hours in the, really? in the build. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And, and, it, and it floats. It good. Does, okay, it good. Does. I tested it. <laughs> That's the key, right? That's the key. I don't make I was sure a bit that. worried. What, well, so you came up with the name there, Sea Wind? Yeah, what, yeah. What, what gave you that inspiration? It's modeled off of the fiberglass Sea Wind boat yeah. because that boat can handle all kind of water. Okay, so take us on, on this, it's a 3,000 mile journey. You're starting where, you're going where, I mean, have you mapped it out there? Because I imagine you gotta, you gotta pull over to the riverbank at some point. I am, yeah. I am. Yeah, I start from here in Cincinnati, okay. on the Little Miami, and I do the Ohio up to the Great Lakes, back around Eastern Ohio and back down the Ohio River. I wanted to do a circle. Yeah. I, I love this, the power of a circle and, and the ripple effect of, of doing good and doing it in a circular fashion, how yeah. that grows. And, and, and a circle, you know, it, just, it continues. It's and kind of hard. Hopefully to, somebody takes this on again, you know, it just continues it, in, a, yeah. in a rotation. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of hard to do when you're in the middle of the Midwest. Yeah. No, that's, <laughs> a, that's, a, no, that's a really good point there. So, um, the significance of adaptive sports, how the bridge is making an impact to, you know, the disability community, because this is what this is really about. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't do it if I wasn't doing it for a higher cause. Yeah. And it's, we at, at Moats, I'm the founder of, of Moats, the Moats group, we build athletic fields. Yeah. And we're about leveling the playing surface and giving more people opportunity. And people that are disabled, often we forget about mm -hmm. their inability to get out on the field. And right. the bridge is all about inspiring people that are at home right now just trying to survive. Yeah, you know? no, most Getting definitely. them out, getting them active, yeah. giving them opportunity as well. Well, sometimes you, you, you get you know, down and you're like, okay, I, you know, I, I, there's this obstacle, but you need something to push you to get over that obstacle. Yeah. And that's what this is. This is hopefully will do for people. And once they get out and go, you know, it's sort of like on a lesser average, you know, somebody who doesn't want to work out, I don't want to work out. You get to the gym, you work out, you're like, I feel really good. You know, on exactly. that aspect, and, and it just gives you that motivation. Exactly. To get it and done. it can happen like that. Yeah. You know, you can go from feeling great to having a stroke or having an injury. Right. Or, and then all of a sudden life has changed. But there is life after. It can be pretty so exciting. So can people out there watching right now support you and, and this journey? Absolutely. And how can yeah. we do that? So, yeah, Moats Paddle for a Purpose mm -hmm. uh, dot org okay. is, is the site. Um, would love to have, uh, my goal is 300,000. Wow, that's great. Um, we're well on the way. So Super when, when do you embark? When do you embark? When does the sea wind hit the water? I embark uh, this Saturday. Okay. Saturday morning at 9 a.m. And if somebody wants to come Cove. see you, where, where we're at? Shelter Cove. Shelter Cove, okay. Kellogg. Yeah. That's going to be great. We'll have a nice flotilla. We'll have disabled with us oh, on that's, boats. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. And at 9 a.m.? Yeah. Okay, maybe we should try to get out there and do a live show or something and get ready to send you off there. And we could check in with you on your way? It'd be awesome. Okay. I'd love okay. it. Okay, sounds good. I'm love to see your producer go coordinate that uh, and uh, maybe we can check in throughout your throughout your journey that would be awesome i'd That'd love awesome. it it'll keep me inspired to keep paddling yeah. well there there hey there's your road there's your river yeah. <laughs> get, ready, get ready to hit the, it's nice too because it has been somewhat well it has been very dry lately so uh the river level should be pretty good for you yeah yeah, yeah. nice Joe, really nice to uh, meet you good to meet you pretty good to Thank meet you. you appreciate it 17 after nine now i know Catherine likes being out on the river yes oh man what a nice thing to be able to do too.